Hello Pisces, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your money and career reading for October 2022 or the next 30 days. We're covering money, career, and any spirit messages that want to come through. We're jumping right in here with the Mystical Wisdom Oracle cards, then we'll go into some tarot money and career oracle, tea leaf, and some inspiration cards at the end. You got the owl, beautiful, and it says follow your intuition. Let me put this down, sorry about that. Let me just show you this again. Beautiful, beautiful imagery. I love all the purples and blues being accented by the yellows, very beautiful. Follow your intuition, Pisces. I know a couple of Pisces who have majorly strong intuition, which Pisces is known for, but they don't listen to it that much, okay? And it only bites them because they end up realizing that they should have or how much easier things would have been if they had listened to their intuition. So I feel like it's time to think about this Pisces, time to learn to start listening to your intuition or tuning into it more asking yourself asking your higher self and tuning into your intuition when you're not sure about something or if there's a little bit of doubt about something tune in there and just see what you find okay this is the tarot of dreams what do we have for pisces sun moon rising and venus check your other signs to pisces there could be additional messages for you Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, this is a really exciting message coming in. I feel like something is getting stirred up. Not sure what that means fully yet. So we're gonna go further. Could be something, you know, passionate in love or, or something else. So let's go further. More fire energy, the Ace of Wands. So you could have some fire in your chart, but not necessarily. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ace of Wands. So this is something exciting, passionate, um, a truth coming through um, in a very passionate way, okay? So someone could be um, exposing their feelings for you in a super passionate way. It might even be a little bit obsessive. So let's go further here. We've got the lover. So yeah, in love, I feel like someone's being kind of obsessive with you. This could also indicate an important choice and an important communication. It does not have to be in love, okay? And we have the Six of Swords. I love this card so much in any deck, but in the Tarot of Dreams deck, you see the front of this vessel. You see like you see them, this person coming toward you. This represents you. You've made the decision to move forward. No one's looking back to the past in reflection. At this point on the journey, you've moved forward. You are on to the new, okay? Um, also, there could be an Aquarius in your life or strong Aquarius in your chart. Not necessarily. I'm just throwing these different things out there. It'll be different for everybody. All right, I'm like eager to clarify here. So let's clarify with the guardian angel messages tarot. We're clarifying the knight of wands, ace of wands, the lovers, and the six of swords. In career, I feel like someone is moving on from a job, position, or business that uh, was no longer serving them, not making them happy, something that was really difficult and a struggle. And you're moving on to a better workplace. Um, it also could be a different home. You could be moving house. and Wherever you're going, wherever this physical move is, it's peaceful. It's a breath of fresh air. It's more conducive to your lifestyle. And it's a place that will make it, it'll enable you to heal fully. The Knight of Wands is being clarified by the Three of Water. Celebration, community, and friendships, okay? So clarify with the Knight of Wands, you could be getting an invitation. This could be to a reunion. Maybe somebody, um, this isn't for everyone, of course, but maybe somebody's being really pushy trying to get you to come to a reunion you don't want to come to or go to. Others of you, this could be a happy reunion, okay? It could be either way, but just do what you want to do. Don't be pressured or guilt tripped. Um, celebration, community, friendship. So that's all good. Um, I feel like this could be in the workplace too. Um, another sign 
who was it that I just read for? I can't remember if it was Cancer or Scorpio. Got this message about um, a work reunion. So you're being invited to a work reunion to an old workplace, someplace you used to work. And you, and you may want to go because they still remember you fondly. So um, you may want to. So you're very, very wanted. Um, but some of you, um, this might be something like someone's trying to guilt you into going to you really don't want to. So it's up to you, okay? Different scenarios for different people listening. So do what you need to do for yourself. The Ace of Wands is being clarified by the Five of Earth. Okay. Lack, worry, and there is assistance for you. That's partly what this exciting message is. There could be assistance for you. There could be a grant, housing assistance, um, or a new job. This is exciting news. Here you are, you've been outside, feeling like you're in poverty, feeling impoverished, not just when it comes to money, but like um, friends, you've been lonely, feeling like no one cares, and you reach out, ask for help. You could be talking to a friend, you could be reaching out, applying for a loan or a grant or something like that, and you're getting good news, it re-triggers your passion, you feel like you are being unstuck, and you're ready to go. It's kind of like um, after being sick for a little while and all of a sudden like you're better and you're ready to go back to the gym or back to what you like normally would do. You're like, all right, let's go. You hit the ground running and um, I'm getting that vibe here. Like you're coming out of this lack and worry you're asking for assistance. You are opening up to someone you trust and talking about this. Um, maybe that loan is being approved and you're like, oh my gosh, what a relief. Now I can focus on applying for new jobs and apply for what I want, not just any old thing out of desperation because you have a little bit of leeway. You're on stable ground temporarily because you've been given this buffer, okay? So make use of that. This is exciting. I feel like the girl on this card, she's unsure. Like she's walking toward this angel and she's like, really? You want to help me? Are you sure? Do I really deserve it? But she's going, okay? This is what you need to do, Pisces. Go with it. Go with it. This angel's like, come on, I can't make you. I can't make you. You have to ask me. But if you ask, I can help you, okay? And remember to also call on your guides and angels. The lovers is being clarified by the three of fire. So this decision that you're making, it could have to do with um, someone in love, but also it could have to do with business or work, goals, expansion, vision. This decision is going to expand your vision. It's going to help you reach your goals. This assistance that you're reaching out for is going to help you reach your goals. You're going to start to see results. You're going to start to... Um, encounter or search for rags to riches kind of stories and you might not be in the rags to riches position but you feel like it and hearing these stories is going to make you feel better about yourself like those stories like I forget who it was but this person was like I only had like I don't know twenty dollars in my bank account and I bought a dollar scratch off tip scratch off ticket I'm not suggesting gambling I'm just telling you the story they want a thousand dollars right they utilize that thousand dollars to help them pay a couple of bills so they didn't lose their home um, whatever they were short they put toward that and they put it into a new business that they started and they ended up making tons and tons of money this led to huge huge lasting success okay Pisces I'm getting that kind of vibe for you here oh love it Okay, and the Six of Swords is being clarified by the Knight of Earth. Yes, slow, steady progress, but this is sure progress, lasting progress. This is giving you hope, money growth, a little at a time, but it's going to build up, it's going to grow, provide stability, and you are lead, leading yourself toward the Knight of Pentacles energy. Organized, responsible, supportive. You're supporting yourself. You're receiving support elsewhere that will give you the lift that you need to succeed, to, to carry forward, okay, to succeed for yourself. All right, I love this. So let's go over to the Money and Career Oracle deck. All these decks are listed below Pisces. When it comes to making this important decision with a lover's card, it's 
very important communication with someone and it's important to take all of the details, whatever this has to do with, it could be in business, in love, whatever this has to do with, some kind of contract with someone else, get all the details, logistics, everything, but also listen to your intuition. If you're like, this looks too good to be true, but it doesn't feel too good, that's a red flag, okay? Others of you, this could be a really great, grand opportunity, and you're not feeling deserving. That's where you need to tap into this five of earth. Why are you not feeling deserving, okay? The Knight of Wands and the Three of Water is being clarified by media. You could be putting yourself out there if you own your own business. You are more seen. Your business is exposed to more um, more people, more venues. Somehow you're getting um, open to more venues. Step into the spotlight and get seen. Don't allow your talent to go unnoticed. A career in television, radio, magazine, or any mass media job might be perfect for you and it might be time to get more publicity if you want to increase your finances this could be an online presence or any of those other things I just mentioned ace of wands and five of earth is being clarified by comfort yes I feel like you're getting the support you need so you can take a deep breath be comfortable sit on the couch and watch TV with a cup of coffee or tea like this woman is doing here Though you're not exactly rich, you'll be living comfortably. You're entering the most comfortable period of your life. Your finances are in a state of balance. Yes, love this right here. There's exciting news coming in about your finances, but it's gonna require you to take some action, okay? The lovers and the three of fire, see partnership. I was just talking about that. This is right here in the same column with partnership and three of fire. Build relationship, relationships that can help you increase business profits. You don't have to do it alone. Make use of available resources. Yes, yeah, see, very validating. You may receive money or an offer from someone you know. Yes, getting a leg up. Bit of a break and aha, success will find you. So this trip on this journey with the Six of Swords, you are leading yourself towards success. Success is on the other side of that river, on the other side of that pond, that ocean, okay? Success will find you. This is slow and steady and you will win. Beautiful. All right, let's go over to the tea leaf fortune cards. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Okay, we have the tortoise. Here we go again. <laughs> Slowly but surely getting ahead. And you're seeing the results. That's why you start to feel better. That's why you start to feel more secure, happier, smiling. We have claw, be careful, do not take risks. So this is like that little feeling in the back of your head, like you're too scared to ask for help, okay? This is saying it's okay to ask for help. That's not risky, that's not risky. That's just your, um, your ego trying to get in the way. We have the bow, you are highly thought of. Yes, Pisces, there are good people who think highly of you and stay away from people who try to drag you down. This is the other half of the tea leaf fortune deck. What else do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, pin, new job or career, yes. And any changes in job or career will be profitable. We have the ladder climbing towards success. Awesome. Love this for you, Pisces. And younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. So some of you could be dealing with a younger person. This could be in the workplace. Maybe someone younger than you is interviewing you. And you're like, oh, God, this is weird, you know. This kid is interviewing me for a job, right? But, you know, just be happy, smile. We're all in this together. What matters is, you know, what they represent on the inside, right? The question to ask is, do I trust this person? But I feel like this is a good vibe, a good vibe person. All right, so this is the starlight deck. We're gonna get a couple inspiration messages here for you, Pisces. All right. 
We have reevaluate. In the starlit sky, we still look for the falling stars. Reevaluate. Yes. And we have expand. Beautiful. Growth is often uncomfortable and messy, but necessary. Know that you are growing. Know that you might need to take a couple of steps that are a little uncomfortable, but you are expanding. Recognize, might be a little bit uncomfortable at first, but it won't always. It will become more comfortable. You will gain that confidence, security, proof that things are getting better. Thank you so much for being here, Pisces. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.